The big dance should be underway, but instead college basketball teams across the country are benched. The NCAA canceled the annual tournament last week, leaving so many successful schools wondering how the tourney might have played out. And that includes Butler. RTV6 Sports Director Dave First on the Dogs' March Sadness. No more packed arenas, no more trip, no more tourney. What a strange week for the Butler Bulldogs. Can you believe here we are, March Madness was supposed to start, and everyone's sitting at home. If you rewind the tape to last Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, you know, it was a, uh, obviously a shock to the sports world. For Butler, they were at the team hotel getting ready for their Big East tourney game against Providence when they watched, like the rest of us, Creighton and St. John's reach halftime when Big East Commissioner Val Ackerman pulled the plug on the tournament. And then around 5.30, a team meeting to hear the NCAA did the same to its own tournament. Regardless of how optimistic any team would be, it's an abrupt end to the season for everyone. I mean, at least you, you, you would play a game or two. Heck, the season is just over like that, man. No question. This was certainly unique just because no one even had the opportunity to go out and lose, you know, yeah. to lose. But there was a lot of tears shed at 5, you know, when we had that 530 meeting. It was, uh, you know, I cried, they cried. You know, there was a lot of tears in there just knowing this group doesn't get to do it together anymore. That includes the end of college careers for Sean McDermott, first team all Big East guard Kamar Baldwin, along with the outgoing Henry Badley and Derek Smith. I think they have a, a ton of self-satisfaction in knowing every time they got to take to, to, to be together, uh, they were for each other. You know, every, we enjoyed the heck out of the ride. A ride that saw the dogs climb as high as a school record sixth in the Associated Press poll. 22 wins, all told, most in a couple of years. Sadly, nothing but handshakes, pats on the back, and what ifs. Now, if they feel satisfied in all this, I mean, you did a great job as uh, you know a father figure and a coach and a mentor because uh, this this is as trying as it gets. I think in college basketball, man. No, no question. Um, you know, there's a hole. It's like, what could we have done? You know, there's, uh, yeah. you think, uh, so many teams across the country, so many players across the country, uh, coaching staff, everybody has that. Man, what, what could we have done had it all played out? Uh, no one knows the answer to that. There's perspective in there, uh, although it's difficult. At least the Butler seniors leave with a few NCAA tournament games under their belts. Many of those other players have yet to play in a tournament game. They hope next year they'll have that chance.